Hello and welcome to this introduction video for Sage BizVision 2014. Sage BizVision 2014 is designed for efficiency, usability, and faster access to information. This introduction video will show you the top enhancements for Sage BizVision 2014. Let's start first by looking what has changed under user details. Let's click Utilities, System Manager, and User Details. And for the Business User ID, in the Details tab, we can see on the right-hand side there is a default salesperson for new orders. If we click on the Browse, we can select a default salesperson for the user business. Let's choose Olivia and let's click on save. We'll close and let's go to customer details for example and let's pick Ace Electronics. For Ace Electronics we can click on tax and shipping and we can see the default salesperson for Ace is Catherine. Let's see what happens in order entry. Let's go to order entry and let's pick Ace Let's click on the Ship To tab, and we can now see, under Tags on Shipping, that the salesperson is now Olivia. The default salesperson for new orders will override the salesperson that is saved with the customer profile. Another security feature we added to Sage BizVision 2014 is the ability to block employee address and images. If you click under the Employee module, we can now toggle to one of the employees, Robert Adams. We can see here that there is an address tab and there is an image tab currently for this employee. Let's close employee details and let's reopen user details and let's click on the access tab under payroll and under options. We'll now see there's a new option called view employee address we can either allow the user to see the address or to not see. Let's click on no and save the business user ID and let's reopen the payroll employee details. Let's pick Robert Adams again. We will now see that the address tab and the image tab are no longer available protecting the employee information. Let's turn our attention now to what has changed in system setup. Let's click on Utilities, System Manager, and System Setup. There are four changes we've made in System Setup for Sage BizVision 2014. The first one is under General Ledger and GL Setup. We've added a lock fiscal periods ending on or before and a lock fiscal periods starting on or after. This enhances the previous version's lock months. If I was to lock the fiscal period ending on or before, I could attempt to lock last year, for example, of 2010, and lock fiscal period starting on or after, for example, 2012. So if I have 2010, December, and before, and lock January 1st, 2012 and after. I can click on Apply and OK. If I was to check my fiscal periods, we can see here that we have three years. Last year, 2010, this year, 2011, and next year, 2012 for this ABC Electronic Components company. If I was to go, for example, in Accounts receivable and pick ACE and make an invoice, for example, for 0606 2010 and click on post. It'll tell me that the date is within a lock fiscal period. Let's click OK and let's choose a date in 2012. Click on post. Again, we get the same message because we've locked. 2010 and 2012. If I was to hit OK and choose 2011 and post, we can see that it will go through and allow the user to do so. 
The second thing we've changed in system setup is a prompt for a salesperson under the sales orders. Let's go to utilities, system manager, and let's visit user details again. Let's clear the salesperson for the business user ID. Let's click on save. And we'll go to one of the customers, Winston's Computer Consultants. Click on tax and shipping, and we see here there is no salesperson. So, no salesman for Winston, no salesman for the business user ID. Let's close, and underneath utility, system manager, and system setup, we will now click on sales order and sales order setup. The new prompt is prompt for salesperson. If we enable that, click on apply and OK. Let's go to order entry and let's pick Winston, computer consultants. You'll notice here under tasks and shipping in the ship to tab there is no salesperson. Let's go back to item details and we'll pick a CD 204 and we'll save. We're prompted now that this is an invalid entry. The salesperson number is required. Please enter a salesperson number to proceed. Let's click OK. Ship to taxes and we can pick a salesperson. And now Sage BizVision will allow me to save and proceed. Let's take a look at the third and fourth option in system setup. Let's go to the purchase order module and click on the ship to tab. We can see here the address and the name is ABC Electronic Components Inc. at 123 Main Street. Currently the address is being taken from the area of company and address. Underneath the purchase order module we have a default ship to address. If we enable the checkbox we can allow Sage BizVision 2014 to use the new default ship to name and the new default ship to address. Let's hit apply and OK. And if we reopen the purchase order module and click on the ship to tab, we can now see that Sage BizVision 2014 will now use the new default ship to address and name. The fourth option under System Manager System Setup is underneath the point of sale. We can click on point of sale setup and we have a toggle between the date display, whether it be the system date or the logon date. Sage BizVision 2014 allows you easy access to line discounts in point of sale. If we open the point of sale module, we can now see that the line item discount percentage is now moved to the each line entry. So for example, we choose a CD204 and choose a price and enter a 10% discount, we will see right away that we can enter the line discounts per line item. Sage Business Vision 2014 enhances the customer module. If, for example, go to the customer module and pull up ACE, for example, we can now click under this SO history tab and view the journal entry. Sage Business Vision 2014 also further enhances the viewing of invoices. So for example, when we view the invoice, we have a button now to print the invoice, a button to email the invoice, shipping labels, and copy as a new order. So when we email the invoice, we could set the customer's form destination, form an email for example. We now see that when we view the invoice again, we have the ability to email the invoice. Likewise with vendor purchase orders, 
we have ability of emailing the purchase orders directly to the PO history. Like so. If we change Amtron's components destination to form an email, for example, we can now, just like invoices, email the purchase order again if we like. A setting that is added to the vendor details is located in the details tab. It is print checks. The toggle checkbox enabled or disabled. If this checkbox is disabled, for example, and click on save, if you open accounts payable and pick the vendor AmpCom, you will see that the check printing is now disabled. You can obviously re-enable it if you like. However, the setting underneath the vendor um, profile will control whether that checkbox is enabled or disabled by default. To enhance order entry, Sage BizVision 2014 gives you the ability under the batch billing process the selection criteria is now for the start required date and end required date. Also under order entry the option of viewing the purchase order and the PO history is now available under the information area. So if we click on information we can now see that the POs and the POs history is now added to the information view. The purchase order module has been enhanced to allow the user to change the terms when posting invoices from purchase orders to accounts payable. Let's pick one of the purchase orders here. Let's click on receive all and let's save and let's hit OK yes to post an invoice you will see here that you're given a new terms option we can choose a term for example certified funds from the net 30 days let's hit OK and let's say no to close for example We can look at the clearance sound systems in accounts payable. We'll now see here we have the invoice as the terms is certified funds. A very powerful feature was added to Sage BizVision 2014 in that employees can now receive direct deposit statements through form, email, or form an email. If we click on payroll and pick an employee with a populated email address, if we click on the details tab and enable direct deposit, we could see here we have three choices. They can receive the pay advice through the traditional form or email or form an email. Inventory product codes has been enhanced to include sale departments. We click on edit and product codes. We'll see here there is a default sale department per product code. For example, if we choose BAT for batteries, we can assign a default sale department to this product code. So for example, we can pick department 004 now that we've added 004 sale department to the batteries product code, new inventory items that are created in this product code will have the sale department automatically filled in. If we save and go to inventory details and we can create a new item
We'll choose a product code of batteries and we'll simply click on save. We can click on the info tab and we'll see the sale department is automatically 004. The find function for vendor specific pricing has been enhanced. In the find function we can click on vendor specific prices and let's choose a criteria for vendor number equals and let's pick a vendor. Let's click on refresh. There's a new button here to view inventory. So for example, if we click on the button here, we can see the details regarding that inventory item. The last enhancement Sage BizVision 2014 has made is in sales analysis. Sales analysis by invoice number has been enhanced to include the customer number. So, for example, if we search for invoice number greater than and click on refresh, we can now see that the customer number is now available and can be sorted. This concludes the enhancements made to the new Sage BizVision 2014, and we hope that your business grows to be more efficient and profitable using the most user-friendly version of Sage Business Vision ever.